Okay. The late churchgoers are settled. Typically. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's a hard act to follow, uh, Roy, and, and just so that I, I won't be left out and some of the things that are said. Uh, I have a project that is uh, looking for some uh, help also, and that's called the Ruby Van Evender Botanical Legacy Project, which I'm working very hard at. And uh, I will, uh, if, if encouraged, I'll explain that. <coughs> at some time later, but I am here for, as an old fellow who has done this many times, unfortunately, I always wonder how it's going to come out. It's my demonstration of wet technique, and that's, that's, that's what this is. It's, it's been sitting in a, a tube of water for a number of hours. This one, uh, since my life is so strange lately. I, I showed up last week to do this. <laughs> Nobody was here. They didn't want me. <laughs> so I came back again this week. And so this, this is the same paper that I have sh soaking last week. So heaven knows what will happen to it. And because of the, uh, the, the time of year and the situations, it is just, this is a uh, I decided instead of a fishing boat, like I always do, or generally always, I have a, a tall ship. Actually, it's I think it's the one they call the uh, the Hawaiian chieftain. chieftain. Uh, I know that the the lady uh, Washington's a little bigger, and uh, but this one had a lot of color on it, and so I decided I'd, I'd try to paint it, and I cut some. So what I did is I made it. Uh, a drawing, as you can see, of the, the lady, of the Hawaiian chief, uh, before I came. And that's because I was wide awake and I decided <laughs> to do that. Uh, so what I have here is a very wet piece of paper and I'm, uh, by, if I can see enough, I'm going to go over the lines for the most part and uh, with my pencil. These are just to impress into the uh, paper the lines that I have already drawn uh, for the uh, rigging and all of that sort of thing, especially the rigging. Uh, I'm uh, not quite anxious to draw all those lines uh, with a little brush. So I do do most of it with this pencil, and if I'm lucky, I'll be having some of the uh, lines already uh, darkened by the time I'm through, because I will do a lot of wishing, and hopefully the the uh, paint that I use will seep into some of those lines, and will give me some of those dark uh, parts. So I won't have to spend a lot of time making little little marks with my tiny brush. Are you doing that because of time? Are you doing that because that you're on kind of a time limit in this, or is this something you would do? No, this is part of what I do. Mm -hmm. uh, I have uh, tried to do this kind of thing, this uh, impressed in there. As you can see, it's starting to, I guess you can see through there, the, the lines are getting a little darker in some places. And, uh, it's always fun to draw those long lines. What um, type of paper are you using? This is this is Arches, one thirty pound, and I've uh, experimented. As that question has been asked before. I've experimented with the the heavier paper, and I don't care for it. 
it's too it's too heavy <coughs> so I've generally stuck with this uh, kind of one bef uh, this 130 pound stuff it seems to do the job pretty well They do. Have, they have rigging all over the place. It all makes sense, I think, to them. <laughs> I'm sure they don't put it up there just for looks. It's has a purpose, I'm sure. But I haven't uh, discovered all of it. Did you take a photograph of this and you drew? I, I took some photographs, and I I was able to refer to some of the photographs for some of the, the, the lines and the rigging and, and that sort of thing, but the actual uh, ship itself, the, the direction and everything, I kind of ad-libbed myself. I don't have a photo of it exactly. And in fact, I am, <laughs> as I draw these lines, I don't, Sometimes I, I miss, so I have to ad lib as I go too. Also, is that pencil number two? Is it this, this one is. It yeah, just happens to be a number two. Okay. I generally use a harder one, but today this pencil spoke up first, so <laughs> it, it got used. You know, this is very boring for people watching, and I don't understand why they want me to do this. <laughs> uh, but Coretta yeah, keeps asking me to come back. And when, when Goretta asks, guess what? She's got something on you, generally. Goretta is a bad word here. <laughs> Yeah, I, I'm sure. <laughs> we know Goretta. Yeah. <laughs> now, when you soak this, did it? Did some of the lines? Uh, they got light because of the soaking, or did you just draw them? No, I don't before? think so. Okay. Uh, most of the lines are pretty much the way I put them in there. I think it doesn't really matter. Okay. Because. I'm, uh, as I say, I'm probably ad living some of them as it is. In, in this business of painting, uh, things like ships and whatnot, uh, it, it is, it's really helpful to have a drawing ahead of time, although I think it, it's also a real experience, and I've done a little bit of it lately, is to, to uh, not have a thing on your paper and go out <coughs> and start painting. I mean, what a what a great experience! I mean, that that really that that can be very uh, frustrating, but it also can have some uh, some marvelous results in terms of. Uh, Creativeness and, and things that are just a little different than than uh, the preciseness <laughs> that we have. I uh, I have seen a lot of the uh, <coughs> uh, the digital stuff that that comes along and it gets really detailed. It's really great and photographs, of course, are. Uh, <coughs> used a lot, but there's something to be said for pure painting. And although this is not a good example of that, because I'm using a drawing that uh, I've made, and I even add livid as I go, and there's people involved here. I'll, I'll get there sooner or later. <laughs> 
think it's important to finish off these lines to show you why they're there before I'm through. This is, this is part of the reason I used the Hawaiian chieftain. She's got some bright colors in it. Mm-hmm. I can't remember which one. It was the yellow and brown one, or the... Was it? My brother-in-law worked at the Home Depot thing, so he was there all the detail on these little ships. It was only a hundred feet or so. Really a lot of stuff. I don't know how they keep track of it. I would say that when it comes to tall ship, uh, I was uh, in introduced to them one time when I was in the East Coast, I was in Baltimore, Maryland, and there was a, a lot of tall ships in, this was, I guess it was one of those times, 70, was it way back in 76 or something, anyhow, there was a celebration. That would be it. Should have been. 1976, yeah. all over America, the tall ships. There were tall ships all over the place, but in the harbor of, of, of uh, Baltimore, there was the Italian ship had four or six masts and it went away. It was 300 feet long and had a beautiful white, beautiful ship. And the, we were there the day they were departing. <laughs> and on the shore, there were dozens and dozens of young girls crying. And when the ship pulled out, they tried the hardest. And on and, and I don't know if you've seen this or not, but on the rigging, you know, on the on the the yard arms where they have the sails, and of course they they weren't they weren't out. They were all just the the the, the rigging and what. All the sailors were lined up on them, all the way up to the top. I mean, I mean, there were hundreds of them, and they did, they did stuff like this, you know. Like, and, and it was incredible to see all of those guys in unison doing all these things way up in the air in this marvelous ship as it, as it went out of the bay, and everybody waved and whatnot, and the poor girls on the shore were still. <laughs> <laughs> it was a sight. Those boys must have been pretty popular. <laughs> I thought that was great. It was a beautiful ship. Rick, do yeah. you need a chair? Huh? Would you like a chair to set in? Oh, no. I, okay. I can't do this sitting, I'm afraid. It would be even worse than it is. Don't, don't let him sit. <laughs> I'm afraid I. Uh... You just go to sleep, huh? No. I... <laughs> <clears throat> I'm getting there here. And I can actually get to do some paint on there. Okay. Oh, boy. I know what these are. These are they, those fellows to climb up on the rigging with. They gotta have something to do with that with. <clears throat> I'm sure they have a a name for them. Do you know all that rigging or are you just no. guessing? Do I know it? That was supposed to be well, I don't know what they <laughs> call it. <laughs> and to intimate that I guess, goodness sake. 
I would guess everything does have a name. I know I've seen books that have some of these things in it. I, uh, I thought I thought these ships were really really neat sitting in our harbor. Yeah. I presume they're going to come back. I suppose we've got to dredge the harbor or something to make sure they come back. So it will be a yearly thing now. Right. Yes, that's the plan. Scott, <coughs> Scott Potter had contacted the Armada from San Diego, which is like a dozen ships, and they said they'd be thrilled to come up. Oh, does it? Really? I mean, we can have, we can start oh. World War Three, a naval battle. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it would be. Oh. Well, that's, that's great. They just have to dredge, though. Oh, they have to dredge. Don't count on me drawing one of the, all of those. <laughs> oh. I did, I chose this because, because of the, the subject matter. I did choose it because of the, there being in the harbor and I I don't know how this one will come out uh, like everything I do uh, but I just just to to prove I think I can I can pull this off and have a, a, a ship here I did I did one or two beforehand just to see if it could be done. Um, I'm not sure it can be, but I, I did do one before, and I'll show you later here. When I do finish this one, and if it's no good, I'll show you the other one. <laughs> <laughs> According to that camera, man. <laughs> Where's the, where's the okay, Lynn, it's time for you to take over. <laughs> Lynn! All right, are we ready for some... We've got to get some water in here. I have a s supply. If I hope I can get it without spilling too much on the floor. Only a half gallon or so. Who hit you on top of the head? <laughs> All right. <laughs> Sky first. I use blue. It's very difficult. <laughs> oh. Oh. Right. That's exactly what I would have said. <laughs> <laughs> I asked by this gentleman that that was easier than carrying the bathroom. None of our it's students true. are going over. They just sit there and sit there. What's the <laughs> And not like that. Dorothy Ishoy introduced me, made me get some, some uh, indigo. Which I use faithfully, just just because every time I do it, I think of Dorothy. There's a little indigo on there, and then and then I, I, you know, some skies are a little have a little purple and stuff. What is that blue? Blue, yeah, there's blue, and then there's some of Dorothy indigo, 
and then I put some some purple of some kind in it. <laughs> oh, these technical terms. Yes. <laughs> I understand. Oh, yeah, I understood. That's the scary part. <laughs> okay, so I got some I got some sky in there, I think. Um, Now I gotta put some the boat's gotta sail on the water. So I'm gonna do some some darker blue with some more that's a little too bright. Some mutterings there. I am. <laughs> it's good mutterings, though. Yeah. I, I, I should. Uh, I would like to hear them a little clearer because they might be some good suggestions there. Uh, I notice this is this is a really interesting. Am I doing something in the way? No, you you're know? wonderful. Uh, this. Hmm. Does anybody bring a brush? <laughs> <laughs> um, we have gorgeous brushes, but of course you're making a day. <laughs> The connoisseur people left us a whole set of gorgeous brushes, which are here for anyone to use that does watercolor. Don't dare touch acrylic or oil paint with them, but there's a whole set here waiting whenever you want to come down to the gallery and paint. This uh, paper is, because it's been wet twice, <laughs> it's really wet. I'm going to try to dry it out a little bit uh, so I don't get the people in the front row too wet. Yeah. <laughs> I have, the reason I do, I do use two boards, this one is linoleum and that's because ordinarily, I want to keep it wet uh, throughout most of the effort. Oh, and uh, so I use that linoleum side, to, and it doesn't dry out so much. Now I find that it's, uh, it's gotten, it's really gotten wet, which is, you know, it's all right. It's just that it isn't what I wanted to do, that's all. So, and you can see that. Some of the some of the water is going to soak up the the. Uh, but it wasn't it wet enough further, huh? For the color ran into your sails, which needs it's nice and white. Oh, uh, you know what? Can't be helped. No, it didn't. It didn't do it. Well, it did. A little. Yeah, but not enough. It could just be a little. I'll add live that. For sure. <laughs> Good artist. <laughs> Master. Uh, yeah, that, that, of course, that is a sign of, of a, shall we say, a mature watercolorist is knowing how to cheat. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or repair. Yeah. Or make it turn out beautiful. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, she used to say happy accident. Yes. 
All right, that's enough water. She'll float now, I think. It's open twice, no wonder. <laughs> now, let's see. One of the things about the... Okay, now the sails sort of... A little bit of that violet in them. That's the fun part, sails. They, uh, I've forgotten what actual color those guys' sails were. Sometimes they look, sometimes they look uh, orange, sometimes brownish, mm -hmm. yellowish, sometimes kind of yellowish. Mm -hmm. My sails are going to be kind of uh, purplish. <laughs> I guess is what you call it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> this is one thing about this wet uh, method. You can, as you can see, it gives you a chance to play for quite a while with that sort of thing. Yeah. And I'm going to bring back some more sky. probably brought my dryer, but that's all right. We won't worry about it. <laughs> I was going to ask that to yeah, force dry it a little bit. If I take a deep breath. Yeah. I, I would, because there's a certain point when you want to, you're hoping that, that we have all a that wet will uh, yeah. sort of dry out. What color was that, Rick? Purple. Uh, this color? Mm -hmm. It's this one. Yeah. What does it say on the side? It says it's black. Good black. That's what it does I, say black. Okay. It says black, but I also throw a little Payne's gray into it. And I don't know that you can tell the difference. But. Is that palette specifically for watercolors? What? Is that palette spe specifically for watercolors? Or can you use uh, it as far as I'm concerned, it is. I don't know what... <laughs> well, it seems like it would be so much more simple for the watercolors because you can, you, they, they dry, you can wet them, they dry, you can wet them. Yeah, Whereas uh, the acrylics, you, they dry, you mm -hmm. can't wet them. Mm -hmm. Very so good. Well, I... Uh, I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Who, I, whose I, is it? I don't you sell it. That's not... Yeah. You can keep it can you? By throwing... Sell it in? Good sponge in this here. A sponge, yeah. Wet sponge. Wow. Mm -hmm. All righty. And some more black. Some more black, but I'm going to introduce a little.
this is a little bit of orange. He's doing this by memory. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what Is that anybody's palette special, like John Pike or someone's palette? I have no idea. Okay. I don't know. I don't even remember where I got it. Okay. But I was pretty happy to find it. I don't think it's a special palette, do you? Well, I have a John Pike, but it's different than that. Maybe, the, where's the lid? Does it have a lid? Can you zoom in a little bit? No? Mm -hmm. No. Can you zoom in? This is far as it'll go. next line of this it was blue yeah some kind of a blue <coughs> he can cheat and look at the painting he already did <laughs> well it's funny you know because the first time those tall ships came in the lady washington was blue and gold but now it was repainted for another movie and the chieftain was blue and gold oh, oh, that's, that's why it was kind of confusing oh really rick i've got a photo if you want it's my son was on i've, lady well, I've just thought mm -hmm. There was, there was green a, on it somewhere. There was, uh, yeah, where's, where's the photo? I think that <laughs> I, I don't want to get too far off on the color. So it was pretty, pretty neat. Rick, at some point, sometime when it's not trying to ruin things, could you hold it up for us? Oh, you can get it. It isn't brown, but it's oh, awful wet. Little higher, please. Little higher, please. Oh, thank you. <coughs> and, and I'll tell you, frankly, that this paper is good and wet. <laughs> Does it stay flat for you? Huh? When it's that wet, will it stay flat for you? It'll stay flat because when I even finish, it dries, I'll put uh, this on top of it. That will be flat. flat. That'll, that'll, that'll keep it flat <laughs> until it dries out. Really? Uh, my, while he's looking for that, I'm going to... This one. Oh, yeah. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We're just a license. That's a wonderful thing. I don't know what it is, but I don't I'll correct it. Well, maybe, maybe they'll paint it according to what you've got. Yes, there yeah. have some things we painted. Yeah, yeah. Uh, we'll recommend that paint it. Um, I think. I don't know if this one adds anything. Well, oh, snapshots are different too because of the light yeah. colors you're in. You know, you That's good. Two That's good. Colors. All right. <laughs> I think it looks two different colors. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> Better just lower it myself here. All right. We'll just bring this all the way around. Okay. Now, then, 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 Just the uh, the uh, chrome brushes or uh, nylon or what? Hmm? what? What are your brushes? This one has got a little square to it. Okay. It is what, it what is bristle? a Princeton Arts and Brush Company one eight stroke what kind of number four o five o st. I get mine from Princeton too. So that explains it. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that's your, I use that's what I use mostly is the the sleek. Never, I like the, um, the hairy ones like this. Fuzzy, yeah. 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 No, not unless I'm, not unless I'm uh, doing foliage. Yeah. That's about the only time. <laughs> Grasses. I love the, I love the way that those, the paint just fills with those. <laughs> Or do you Same use yeah. easel? Or are you, are you just doing this just for the demonstration? Let's see. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the question. It was I don't know if I, if I stand here bending over this thing like this at home. What's uh, the answer? Actually, table. actually I, I, I tilt it a little bit. But you still stand home. up? Like yeah, I stand up. And, and I, you know, even as old as I'm getting and my bones ache, it's um, it's much more, I, I, I'm afraid that if I were sitting down here like this, mm -hmm. it wouldn't, you lose this perspective? I'd just lose a lot of it. It's more fun to throw your whole body into it sometimes. And, and especially when I'm doing this crazy mask, you know, and, and these lines, I can't, I couldn't possibly do a line like that by sitting down by it. Yeah. But opposed to standing up and having an easel. Oh, no. I, I think that I've seen the easel thing, no. especially with with my wet paper. No, that's true. I'm afraid true. it would, it would yeah. I do tilt it a little bit, but it, uh, it doesn't. Uh, doesn't. Rick, is your, is your working place at home that low? It's about this yeah. size, yeah. Oh, about okay. that line. Yeah. I have. <laughs> you should see my work. <laughs> I start out with a nice, neat table like this, about that, and then 
I find everything is crowding in here, all the junk on each end and so forth. Uh, so it's kind of a <laughs> hit or miss. I should have had a picture of this guy, but that's all right. I, got <laughs> I don't think that the captain and crew would recognize this baby now. <laughs> yeah. I've got the wrong colors in the wrong place. But it is colorful, so yes. I guess that's yeah. it. Mm -hmm. And it looks wonderful. And you know, they repaint those things different colors that's every year. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they use them in those two, especially in the movies. Whatever the movie it is. And let's see. Mm -hmm. I do have... <laughs> oh, this, this, ought to, this ought to be interesting, uh, how wet it is. Uh, Put up a flag here. Oh boy. So did your rigging lines turn out the way you wanted? I haven't touched them. They look pretty much like the rigging. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, See, that's, that's, the, that's the, the cheating part. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what do they have as a top flag there? The, there's the, they had the broken up American flag, but up above, do they have an American flag at the top? No, no. Mm -hmm. there was, uh, they've got, something, they've got something else up there, don't yeah. they? All right, we will put our own flag up there. The yeah. Crescent Harbor flag. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. We gotta start that. Let's see. Why not? Yeah. Why not? Yeah, we could have a contest. I should go see a contest, yeah. City flag. Right there. There's a City Harbor flag. flag. Yes, I did. Have a contest. We'll fix that. Or, you know, local. Different local. We'll fix that. I think that's something showing the flags. That's all right. I got it. Got it. Okay. I got a purple flag up there with a Harbor Art Gallery on it. Well, here are the four flags, but I'm not sure which is which. I think it's these two. Huh? So this is yeah. the two shoes. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, they got a California yeah. flag in this. Them. This side, yeah, the California is green. That's all right. I think we'll, as long as I got an American flag on there, we'll be yeah. all right. I think. <laughs> well, but you only need about, it's like six stars or something ridiculous. I wonder if they change flags if they go to every state. Yeah, they might. Probably. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. then, you know, they do this all over the place, don't they? Sure. Well, Washington, Oregon. Washington, Oregon. 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 Yeah. Washington, Oregon, California. You know, the, I was reading someplace that the uh, Lady Washington, is, the actual Lady Washington has got quite a history to it. It, um, it was a very famous ship and uh, did a lot of exploring. One of the really incredible things about the Lady Washington is it only took two people to man that. What? Two people can run that ship. The Lady Washington. They told really? us on the cruise that that was impossible. That that's what they did in the movie, but they said that no two people could ever. Well, do that. you know when they first brought it in last wow. year, yeah. they, when they were doing the tours, they said that they have uh, the, they have a crew, but the only there's only two essentials. 
Colors. It's not going to change it in the least. It's beautiful. What you've done is beautiful. Yeah, uh, it's already beautiful. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You can't change. You can't uh, work on perfection. Yeah. Yeah. It gets blurred, doesn't it? You go too far. If you bring it up and then let it set and then it focuses. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's very nice. Oh, that's about it. That's another. 